Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is a part 2 of SMC Slime Haul as promised. And in this video, we'll be featuring a few more slimers and reviewing their slimes. The first slime today is the Mint Chip Freeze and this is an icy slime that's made by the Slime Allure. Um, this slime is scented as mint chocolate chip and um, it smells really good. It smells just like the name. I really like the topping as well. It makes the slime super cute. So for this slime, I think um, if it's a little bit underactivated, it's more spreadable and softer and you can activate it as much as you want and it will become more of a stretchable icy cloud texture and in this video i did activate it quite a lot so it's more like stretchy for me um, but i love the asmr of icy slimes it's so sizzly and the scent of the slime it's super calming as well okay so on her instagram page she described this as um so the best of all, you can activate it as much or as little as you like to have it for a table play or handheld play. So I think when it's a little bit underactivated, it was better for a table play because you can spread it as I've described before. And if you activate it uh, more, you can have like that drizzle cloud texture where it's handheld. So I think that's why this was one of my favorite slime purchased from Kayla. The second slime is from Magic Slimes and this is a really cute, um, I'm not sure what the name is, it looks like Cocoa Puff. Um, it's scented like chocolate to me because on the container it doesn't really say what scent it was or um, what the name is so I'm just making this up. I did go to her Instagram page and try to find it but I couldn't really find anything so if anybody knows feel free to comment down below and let me know but this is a thick and glossy slime that i got from smc from her store and it is super thick and very glossy okay so this slime it is very glossy and also quite creamy as well and i think it's super satisfying to play with and it's very straightforward the add-ins are very cute as well um just one odd thing that i want to point out was it will it does go under activated a little bit easier than some of the other slimes um but that was totally okay the activation of this slime was really easy so i think overall i really enjoyed the slime and the add-ins was really straightforward and i would definitely recommend purchasing from her shop also, I just wanted to mention that the slime doesn't really stick to your hands, if that makes sense. Like, I know some of the glue tend to stick to your skin a little bit easier, but even when the slime was a little bit un underactivated, it still doesn't really, like, stick to your hands. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm making sense, but I just thought that's something super cool and it is very holdable, um, even when it was, like, a little bit underactivated. Um, yeah, so I'll let you guys enjoy the ASMR of the slime. Now we are up to the third slime. This is from Kitty Cake Slime and it is called Kawaii Ice Cream Waffle Cone. This slime is described to, uh, as a thick and glossy glue based slime with heaps of extra loaded in and it's scented as sweet vanilla ice cream and freshly baked waffle cones. Straight off the bat, this slime was super thick and super creamy and it's, the scent smells so delicious, I couldn't even resist myself. I literally want to eat it. 
um, and the add-ins are really cute I really enjoy like the pastel kind of color combination into the slime the add-ins of the slime gave the slime an amazing bubble pop texture and it was super crunchy as well um, there was a lot of different add-ins in this slime so I really love kitty cake slimes this label it is super cute and um, the slime is very high quality, it also stayed activated very well. So the slime is um, 250ml, so I think it's approximately 8.5 ounce and it is $16. Just personally, I feel like this is a little bit more on the expensive side. Lastly, I do give the slime a 10 out of 10. It was super cute add-ins, amazing bubble pops, super thick, holdable, and very high quality packaging and labeling. The second slime that I have from Kitty Cake Slime is the Strawberry Mallow Puff. So this is a very dense butter slime and it smells like some sort of strawberry hand cream. I'm really sorry, I don't know what the actual scent is because it doesn't say on her Instagram page or the labeling. But I just guessed of how I would have smelt one of my <laughs> strawberry hand cream. But it smells really good and... Um, after you play with it, the, the scent does stay on your hand and so your hand smells really good too. What I loved the most about this butter slime was it was super clay heavy, super soft and super sizzly. So it is not like anything I've felt before. Um, it's just so dense um, and also really, really easy to fluff up. So this slime was definitely a 10 out of 10. I really, really love the texture. It is so good and the glitter on the bottom was really cute as well. So the slime is around $16 for the 8.5 ounce as well. I think that she only sells one size um, because that's the only size that I saw at um, SMC on the day. But she might sell other sizes on her online store. I am not 100% sure, but overall, um, the texture and the quality of her slime was definitely highly recommended. Next one we have is from Banana Bear Slimes again and this is called Disney in December. So this is a super thick, creamy and glossy base filled with Christmas colored foam beads and other add-ins. So it is a very crunchy slime at first when you touch it because of those green and red beads and it gives a great Christmas theme feeling and the slime is scented as pumpkin spice latte it smells a little bit more like cinnamon to me but i don't care and this is a super glossy really thick and holdable slime the slime is very thick and glossy however i think the glue um, does go under activated a little bit easier than some of the other glues and um, i'm not really sure why it does feel like a um, it feels very much like a glue oil slime but I don't think it is and um, it's very creamy I really like the texture but it just sometimes it's a bit easier to stick on my hand um, and go a little bit under activated overall I enjoyed the slime a lot and I really enjoyed the scent as well the add-ins and the cute glitters and I would definitely give the slime an out um, a 10 out of 10 and None of those other things bother me, so I definitely recommend checking out Banana Bear Slimes.
The last slime we have here is from allmyslimes.au. This is called Jilled Crystals and um, it's a super crunchy binsu slime. So this slime is scented lightly with mixed berries and it is based off Lush's Jilled Bath Bomb. I did receive this one as a gift at SMC but I thought I would just include it in this video. Um, this is a really nice Bingsu slime because it's actually filled with Bingsu beads. I know a lot of Bingsu slimes or like uh, fish balls or just all the crunchy slimes doesn't actually get filled just with the beads but this one actually is filled, I don't know, 99% filled with Bingsu beads. This slime was actually super super crunchy. It's actually my first Binsu Beat slime once Binsu Beat was a thing. Um, and it was super easy and stretchable to fluff up. Also, it inflated a lot. Um, I guess it's because all the bubbles that got trapped. So overall, I really enjoyed the slime and it's so pretty. I would definitely give my first Binsu Beat slime experience a 10 out of 10 so thank you all my slimes.au for this amazing slime Okay everyone, so this is officially the end of Slime uh, Haul SMC Part 2 and if you did enjoy this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will try to post more reviews in the future. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.